Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen Team, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare your Oxygen built site for handoff to a client. Now, Oxygen is super powerful, and traditionally, it's been a bit of a concern to hand off full admin privileges to a non technical user because of the fact that users can write PHP code, JavaScript, and CSS directly in the editor. Now, for users with an agency license or equivalent, we have a feature called edit mode that allows you to limit what users can do in the builder environment. And this video is going to focus a lot on kind of how to use that to the best effect to be able to hand off an oxygen built site to a client while giving them the ability to edit the site without the risk of severely breaking something. So we're going to jump into our dashboard here and go to oxygen settings and client control. And we have a few different options here. You can check our documentation on edit mode for a full run through. In this case, we have one user who needs to have administrative access to WordPress, but we want to restrict that user from having full control within Oxygen. So we're going to go down to per user access, and we're going to add a user, and we're going to pick our user, which in this case is Elijah. And we're going to set their access level to edit only. Now we have a bunch of options here, but we're only going to pick a few. First, we're going to disable classes. This is going to prevent them from making any styling changes on a class, which is great because the user may not know where all the elements are that use a given class. So they may not fully understand the impact of their changes. So we're going to disable classes entirely. And then we're going to enable the design library. That will come into play here in a bit, and I'll show you how we use the ability to enable the design library to give the user the ability to kind of build their own layouts within Oxygen while still not giving them full control. And then because we're going to let them add some elements like design library elements, we're going to enable drag and drop. We're going to leave off the enable elements checkbox. We're not ticking the enable advanced tab checkbox, and we're not enabling reusable parts. This should be all the control that our user in this particular scenario needs. Of course, you can enable specific elements if you'd like. Any element in Oxygen can be enabled for a specific user, but we don't really need that in this case, so we're going to leave that off. Now, we don't need to use the post type manager in this case because the user with edit only access won't see the Oxygen meta box anyways. So let's save these changes. So now our user permissions are set up on the Oxygen level. Now we need to determine which posts, pages, and templates we want them to edit. So we can go to Oxygen Templates, which they'll have access to templates because they have edit only access. And in this case, we don't really want them to edit, say, our main template. So we'll just tick this box, Lock Post in Edit Mode, and update that template. Now we can go back to templates and we can continue to lock any templates that we don't want them into, which in a lot of cases, you're going to want to lock all the templates. It just depends on whether they're going to have a need to edit content within those templates or not. Most cases, they're not going to need to get into templates and do much of anything. So you would go through and lock each of these individual templates to ensure that they're not going in there and changing things that are global to the site. Now that we have our locking in place, so the user has their limited permissions and they're locked out of templates that we don't want them to edit, now we can start to open up what they can add to the builder. Remember, we enabled the design library for this user. So we're gonna go to Oxygen, Settings, and we're gonna to go to library. And what we wanna do is we want to make sure, make this WordPress install a design set is checked. And we want to uncheck enable default design sets. And click update. And I'll show you exactly what this does in a moment. But first, since we're using this site as its own design set, we need to categorize some elements to make sure the end user has access to those elements. So we're gonna to go to pages. And let's assume they've asked to be able to edit just the home page. They want to be able to add some new sections to the home page on occasion. They want to be able to edit content, things like that. So we're going to jump into the home page. We're going to scroll down to the Oxygen Design Set Options meta box here. And we're going to tick the box, include the sections in this page in the library. And let's save that. Now we need to edit this page and tell Oxygen which sections we want to have available in the library. 
So let's give it a quick scroll through and see which sections they might want to add. So like testimonials, for instance, say they want to add um, a testimonial block. Now you might need to reconfigure the way some of these blocks are laid out. For instance, you probably would have this testimonials heading as its own separate thing and then have this element as the element the client can add. So let's just do that real quick. Let's add a section, go to structure and drop that above the testimonials. And we're gonna move the heading and the text into that, center it. We're gonna remove the bottom padding there and remove the top padding here to make sure our spacing is correct. And then we need our background color on this top section to be the same, which it's that uh, Catskill White from the Atomic Design Set. Let's see if we can get it on the first try. We did. Okay, so now the, the heading is separate, but we have our nice little uh, testimonial section here, and we want the user to be able to add more testimonials if they'd like. So we're going to choose this section, click the hamburger menu in the structure pane, and click Categorize, and then we're going to choose something like Social Proof. Perfect, so that's one section categorized. Uh, the showcase we'll leave alone, info boxes would be another one similar to the testimonials where they might want to add some more items here and there. So let's do that one as well. Let's just, uh, in this case, let's just duplicate it and we'll delete everything we don't need from this top one. Let's make sure we select the columns element, delete that, remove the bottom padding, remove the top padding here, delete the uh, heading here and the text, and now we can categorize this second section. This is gonna be info boxes. So we're gonna use the hamburger menu, categorize, and then this would be, let's just put it under content, perfect. So now we have a couple of sections that the user can add themselves and then they can edit the content in those sections. So let's save this and we'll jump back into WordPress and we're gonna just demonstrate what the setup looks like to the user. So let me pull up a new incognito window after I copy this off. And let's jump over to that, paste in our URL, and we're gonna need to log in, so wp-admin, and then Elijah and our password. This is our administrative user that we set up with limited access to oxygen. And we'll just take a look at what all of those restrictions do. So first of all, we have the templates here, but no oxygen settings, which is nice. If we try to go to the main template and edit it, we're gonna see that the edit with oxygen button is grayed out and doesn't work. But for me as the user, my primary thing I wanna be able to do is edit the home page. So I'm gonna jump over here to pages and we're gonna kick admin out of here. And you can see here the uh, user experience is a little bit cleaner. They don't have the oxygen meta boxes, but they do have the oxygen button here. So let's open the builder as our administrative user. So here we are inside Oxygen as our administrative user with limited access. We can edit content, we can change icons, we can do all the things that a client might need to do once you've handed the site off to them. And if we scroll down and say we wanna add a new testimonial section here, we can click Add, go to Library, Design Sets, the name of the site, sections and elements, and we have the sections that we've categorized. So by using the design library feature of Oxygen, we're able to give our clients a curated list of pre-designed elements for their specific site. You could do the same thing with an external library. If you have another site and you set it up as a design set, you could drop its site key in here on this site and enable only third party design sets and you would have essentially the same effect. But in this case, we wanna add another set of three testimonials right below those and there we have it. And we can save that and we can check it out on the front end and see that we, the client, have the power to edit our site and add these testimonials, but there's no way for our client to write PHP code, CSS, JavaScript, anything that represents a risk to the site as a whole. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's how to set up your Oxygen built site for handoff to your client. Thank you very much for watching.